Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my November favorites and not so favorites. But surprisingly, I've been loving a lot of things. So the not so favorites list is very, very small this month. If we haven't met yet, hi, my name is Jackie, or you can call me Jack Jack or Jack, or whatever you like best. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the little bell, so that way you are notified of future videos and you are officially a part of the Little Flower family. Yeah! Now let's move into my November favorites and not so favorites. When I first tried these foundations, I did not think I would like them as much as I actually do like them. These are the Lala Fox Second Skin Foundation. This is a drugstore cruelty-free brand that you can find at walmart.com. It's only $7.50 for this foundation. I just think it's so beautiful on the skin. It has great coverage. I do have to mix my shades though. I am in the shade medium almond and sand beige. I mix these together. I do a little more sand beige and a little less of the um, medium almond and I mix those together and apply it all over my face and it's the perfect shade for me but I'm just really impressed with the coverage. It literally feels and looks like a high-end foundation but it's it's from Walmart. It's cruelty free and it is only $7.50. Like, that's just crazy. If you haven't tried out this brand yet, highly, highly recommend you do. I'm actually super excited to try out more products from this brand because so far, pleasantly surprised because foundation's a hard one to, to rock and this foundation just knocks it out of the ballpark. It's really awesome. I feel like this comes at no surprise if you've been watching my most recent videos, but I have been loving the Bad Habit palettes from shophush.com. These palettes are dupes of high-end palettes. These are the more affordable. These are all $10 each. Like, that's crazy. So the first one, I think this has been my favorite out of all of them. This is the Bad Habit Aphrodite palette, which is a dupe for the Huda Beauty um, Rose Gold palette, I believe. And it's beautiful. The quality of these shadows are just insane. And I can't believe it's only $10. They are cruelty free, I believe. Yes, cruelty free, and it's just super awesome. Like, I've been really, really happy with these palettes. The next palette I have been loving from Bad Habit is the Royals palette. This is a dupe for the Modern Renaissance palette. When I looked at this palette, like, just at first glance, I was like, I really don't think this is going to be comparable to the Modern Renaissance palette, which I do have that palette, so I was able to compare side by side. And to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised with these shadows. They may not look like they're super crazy pigmented out of this world, but they are definitely comparable to the Modern Renaissance palette, which I think is an awesome palette. So if you are looking for a dupe, this is a very good one to get. And then lastly, I've also been using the Inferno palette. This is, I believe, a dupe for the Urban Decay Heat palette. So it has a lot of warm tones in here, which I love, it matches my hair. So this is just another great quality product. The shadows are super pigmented, but super easy to blend out as well. And I've just been super happy with it. So I've been loving those three palettes, so I kind of just made the assumption that every Bad Habit palette is just rocking and it's super awesome, but no, that moves me into like my not so favorite, which is the Bad Habit Retro Love palette. I'm, I'm so bummed about this because this is a dupe for the Subculture palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and we all know, we saw the reviews on that, everyone was dissing the Subculture palette hardcore, like the quality just was not there, the shadows blended really weird and didn't stick onto the skin, and oddly enough, I'm experiencing those same problems with this palette, especially like the color Rock and Roll, which is my favorite color in this palette. It's like the perfect burgundy shade. I tried applying that on my crease and on my lid and it just would not stick. And every time I would go over it to like maybe pack on more, it like kind of wiped away the product. And I'm like, that's so weird. Like that's the same like experience people were having with the subculture palettes, so it really is an exact dupe. I love the colors, but I didn't like the quality of these shadows, so this is a palette I wouldn't recommend, and I don't really think I'm gonna be using it that much, honestly. I guess I've been loving a lot of eyeshadows because I have one more eyeshadow palette to share with you that I've been loving, and it is this guy right here. It's from Flirt Cosmetics. This is the Major Metallics eyeshadow palette. Look at these colors. They are so Stunning. They're so beautiful, especially this royal blue right here. It's just to die for. I'm like drooling over this color. I love it so much. These colors are so soft. 
like velvety and super pigmented and I actually did an Instagram exclusive tutorial featuring this palette so if you want to check it out head over to my Instagram but I did this really cool like blue smoky eye look and it was just awesome. It's actually the makeup look I wore in my last video which was the lip swatch of the Smashbox always on liquid lipsticks. That makeup look I was wearing, the eyeshadow look, was using this palette. So if you want to find out how I got that look from that video, make sure you head over to my Instagram to see the exclusive tutorial that I created. But these shadows have been super awesome and I've been loving them as well. Lots of awesome eyeshadow palettes this month. My next favorite, this is a product I've had in my collection for quite some time, but I just never really gravitated towards it until recently. This is the Stila Cosmetics Heaven's Hue Highlighter in the shade Kitten. So this is actually a cream highlighter and it looks like this and I kind of dug my nail into it the other day so ignore that. But this is such a pretty highlighter. I can't get over it. Here I'll swatch it. Oh it's so soft. But you can apply it with your finger like so or you can use a brush and I just use a brush because I like the way it picks up product. I feel like it's it's so hard to tell like with a highlighter, but on the skin, like on my cheekbones, I'm not wearing it today, oddly enough. I'm trying out some new products right now, that's why. But this on my cheekbone is just like the prettiest, prettiest highlight ever. And it's just so easy to apply and I love that it's a cream so it feels like nice and soft on the skin. My last makeup favorites are two lip products I have been gravitating towards a lot throughout November and these are both from Kat Von D. I have Lolita and Lolita 2. I love these lip colors and I think they're so perfect for fall and Kat Von D liquid lipsticks are very comfortable to wear and very long lasting so I really do like that about her liquid lipsticks but these colors they're like I feel like every year they're always my go-to for fall. Like they're just, they're so perfect. Um, Lolita 2 is a little more reddish while Lolita, I just smacked myself on the nose with this. <laughs> Lolita is more of just like a um, kind of berry mauve color, like a mauve nude. Been loving both of these shades. I kind of switch back and forth between them. If you're looking for a dupe for Lolita, a drugstore dupe, um, the NYX, Liquid Suede in Soft Spoken is an exact dupe. If you want to see for yourself, check out my video that I did half of affordable makeup, half high-end makeup. I'll leave it linked in the cards for you guys. I did those two side by side and they're an exact dupe. So check out that video and check out the NYX Soft Spoken Liquid Suede if you want a dupe for this guy right here. Is it just me or are we moving pretty quickly in this video? Next, moving on to my random favorites. And I'm not kidding you, these are all very random things. The first one is actually my church, New Hope Church. I have been getting really involved in my church lately and I've just been loving every second of it. I'm actually now a part of the tech and media ministry. I'm the assistant media director at my church and it's just been so much fun and so awesome. So what I do is I create videos, announcement videos for the church, upload it to their Facebook page, and I also record the sermons. So if you're not able to attend the church, you can actually watch the entire sermon on the Facebook page, um, and I upload those after service as well. But it's just been super awesome. I love the community at my church, and I've been going on and off to church for several years. I first discovered New Hope at the beginning of this year, and ever since then I've been going nonstop. I just love the church so much. The community is just so welcoming and so loving. I feel like at the previous churches I was going to, I was really missing that community and that group. And once I went to New Hope at the beginning of this year, once I stepped in the very first day, everyone was just so welcoming and it already felt like family. I just, I really love the atmosphere there and it's just it's super awesome. So I'm gonna rave about my church and share it in my favorites video. So if you guys are in the San Diego area and you wanna join, it's New Hope Church Sundays at 2 p.m. in the Spring Valley area. And if you're not in the San Diego area, then you can head over to the New Hope Church Facebook page to watch the sermons and my weekly announcement videos on there. Another favorite in November has been Christmas music. I am obsessed with Christmas music, and yes, I play it nonstop throughout December, but I actually started playing it in November as well. I started playing Christmas music right after Halloween. Johnny was like, it's too soon to play Christmas music, and I'm like, there's no such 
thing. Let me know in the comments, when do you start playing Christmas music? When do you find it appropriate to start playing Christmas music? You're probably going to think this part is sponsored, but it's totally not. My next favorite has been an app, a game. I, I just, I feel like I never talk about apps on in my favorites videos, but I've been playing Panda Pop non-stop you guys like non-stop I'm so obsessed with this game I started playing it a few months ago just here and there but all of November any chance I got where I just needed a break from work I would just jump in bed because my room is also my office so my computer's over there and I'm sitting there all day working and then whenever I just need a break I will just jump here on my bed and play a few levels of Panda Pop so this is how much I'm obsessed with this game I'm gonna show you guys what level I'm on it's kind of embarrassing. Level 289. I know, I have no life. I know they've been sponsoring a lot of YouTubers, but this is not sponsored at all. They don't even know I'm making this video. I genuinely love that game so much and I'm kind of addicted to it. And right now it's all Grinch themed, which I love. I mean, who doesn't love The Grinch? The Grinch is one of my favorite movies. So I love that instead of like saving the baby pandas from the baboon, you're saving the baby pandas from the Grinch. And I just love the graphics and all the little animations. I just love The Grinch, okay? And Panda Pop has been kind of addicting. I got my little sister into it and I told my other sister to start playing as well because if you connect with Facebook um, if you like connect the app to your Facebook page you can see the score that your friends have on every level so I like see what my sisters got I see what was their score and see if I can beat it so that's been fun to play with and my last favorite I really wanted to share an influencer or youtuber and I don't have one to share with you and I'm kind of sad about that so I want to ask you guys who has been your favorite youtuber recently because I am always looking for new people to watch and I just I love being inspired by other people and other creators so um, if you have a favorite youtuber leave them down below so I can check out their channel and watch their videos it doesn't matter if they're a huge channel a small channel if they're creative they make awesome content I want to see their videos but one thing I do want to share is kind of my obsession with watching America's Next Top Model videos on YouTube. I just find these random clips and I've been watching them nonstop, like binge watching America's Next Top Model, like just all these random clips. I don't know why. I, I partly blame Brad Mondo for this because he's always doing like America's Next Top Model makeover reaction videos and then from there it like recommends me to other America's Next Top Model related video clips and I'm just watching all of those and then I kind of get sucked into this black hole and I'm just binge watching all of these videos at once and I don't know. I, I used to love America's Next Top Model so so much growing up and back in the day when I was a lot tinier I wanted to pursue modeling so so bad and I even auditioned for America's Next Top Model. Fun fact, I've never said that on YouTube before, but I did. And maybe I'll have to do a story time for that. Again, that was back when I was like super itty bitty, tiny, skinny girl. Not anymore. <laughs> So that is it for my November favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do because that would just make me so, so happy. And then you're part of the little flower family. And that's awesome because we have the best family on YouTube. Just saying. Can you hear Zoe's little footsteps in the background? She's walking in the hallway right now. <laughs> Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!